My name is Bill Wickersham. I'm an adjunct professor of peace studies at the University of Missouri, Columbia, and co-author of a book on nuclear war entitled Confronting Nuclear War, The Role of Education, Religion, and the Community. The, the, the overarching purpose of the book is to show that nuclear weapons are both, well, they are, in fact, uh, illegal, immoral, very dangerous, and very, very expensive. So we have chapters that deal with all of those issues, uh, and especially the role of, of higher education and the church and individual citizens and organizations in the community. Yes, the clear and present danger, and it's as bad as it ever was during the Cold War, is that especially the Soviet Union and the United States have hundreds of intercontinental ballistic missiles that will leave their countries and hit the, their reciprocal targets in about 25 or 30 minutes. So we're talking instant extinction without representation. Well, the roadmap to peace uh, begins with de-alerting the weapons we have now. Any plan that is going to be acceptable, and our plan includes this, has to be step by step, has to be mutually respected, has to be uh, 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 able to be inspected by the other side, and, and the ultimate goal has to be zero nuclear weapons. Former Secretary of Defense Bill Perry has recently written a book. I've not read the book, but I've read accounts of it and heard other people talk about it. He feels we are in deep, deep trouble, and we need to get on with some kind of plan that's fair-minded to everyone and get out of this trap. Now, the problem is the money, and the people who make nuclear weapons uh, make a lot of money. And unfortunately, the Obama administration has approved a $1.3 trillion dollar package for new nukes over 30 years in the future. And my hunch is that Hillary Clinton is going to be supporting that too. So that's why people in peace education, nuclear disarmament have to get, get on board. No, I'm afraid that the pressure, and I lobbied for, I worked in Washington for 15 years, came up against people from TRW, Boeing, Northrop, all those companies. They have effectively $1,000 bills in their pocket, figuratively. The people who work on the peace side have $10 bills if they're lucky. That lobbying and the super patriotism and tribalism that it's wrapped into means it's very difficult to penetrate this. That's why we got to have a lot more people trying. At this point, it's a little difficult uh, with all the things that are going on to mobilize people. But individuals can certainly do, they write letters, they, as I do, they write books, they uh, uh, talk on television, they talk on the radio, they form at least a small group locally. We have a couple of groups here that, that uh, have, over, over time have d done quite a bit. A lot of people say, and I've heard this all my life, don't just talk about it, do something. Talking is doing something. We have a chapter called The Dialogue for Nuclear Disarmament. I use this myself with students and others at a local coffee shop. You simply raise the question, what do you think the chances for World War III are? A lot of people haven't thought about it. Unfortunately, they're not all that, uh, that bad. I mean, they're, we've got the hair trigger. So talking about it, and we spell out a systematic not, no heavy-duty thing, but it's a simple conversational, democratic conversational process called the Dialogue for Nuclear Disarmament. Part, part of the really big problem with this whole thing is it's out of sight, out of mind. And uh, there was a professor at uh, Johns Hopkins University, Jerome Frank, he's a psychiatrist and psychologist. He wrote a book years ago on the social and psychological obstacles that uh, face people who try to get others to do something. Mm -hmm. And we list about, oh, I think 10 or 20 of those obstacles. The first one being denial. 
how do you get people to quit denying? Or people who say it's just no use, they throw up their hands. Or, and there are burned out people. I've come pretty close to that myself. So we, we talk, about, uh, talk about that. And, and there's, a, there's a lengthy chapter on, on that. <laughs>